Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Aries for the week starting May 2nd, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And thank you for those who subscribed already. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your private messages, your comments. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you can find me on social media as well. And now for my Aries, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you and my Aries starting this week. So we have here the Knight of Rods in the past position, looking at um, the past, okay? So um, coming in this week, there's a possibility of you still working on a project that started maybe last week, a few days ago, or maybe a, you know, a few weeks ago, okay? This project could be related to any area of life, okay? It could be related to um, love, to relationship, partnership, to a business idea, you know, we'll have to see the other card, but what is interesting with the Knight of Rod is he's really interested in learning, okay? This one is a fast, you know, fast process student, okay? Knights, they want to, um, they want to, you know, how can I say, graduate, okay? They want to become a king. So whenever we see a knight, there's something in process that we want to learn. And so the knight of rod could be, you know, you could be still in training or you could be, like I said, putting some things into place in different type of project in your life. But let's see what we have for you, my Aries, in the near past position this week. So we have the Empress, great energy. She is a major arcana. Her energy is very positive because the Empress is interested in learning. Okay, she wants to grow. Okay, she wants to expand herself, but also she wants to, um, she's interested in uh, building and creating. Okay, this is a card about uh, you know, creating something, something that will actually bring us some type of uh, monetary gain. And I say this because the Empress represents Venus, okay? So I feel that for you, my Aries, there's a lot of emphasis in your second house right now because Mercury is in Taurus. So you're really thinking about how, you know, how you can uh, expand your worth, your value, okay? Some of you are working in starting a business because the Empress is a card of fertility. She puts seed into something to build something, okay? It is also a card of uh, uh, maternity, for, I mean, uh, pregnancy, sorry. So yes, some of you may be working on building a family, starting a family. Some of you may be interested in growing uh, anything that has to do with the second house, and the second house is about family, but on a primitive level, like mother, father, kids. So maybe there's a house that you want to build, okay, or any other areas, okay? But I do feel just because there's so much energy right now in your second house with the sun in Taurus as well, that you're definitely expanding yourself. There's something that you want to do in relation to uh, your worth, your value, at your, in your work, in your profession, um, it could also be in your health for those, like I said, that are trying to expand or uh, get pregnant. It's a very positive card. Let's see what we have for you, my Aries, in the position of the future this week. We have the Six of Swords, looking at the past. Interesting. So technically looking at the Empress, okay? The Six of Swords is a card about uh, movement, movement in a way of going through a different direction, Okay, changing, uh, like it's you leaving something behind and moving into some different type of avenue. And this avenue could be, like I said, it could be in your house, it could be in your family. But here, there's some type of energy with the Six of Swords that connected to abandonment, okay? And it's looking at the Empress. So you maybe you're learning a lot of things and some of your idea, because like I said, this week, 
there's so much energy in your second house and you know mercury is in retrograde in your second house okay so there's something that you're gonna have to give up or there may be an idea that is not really the time to or is not maybe you know possible to um, to grow or possible to expand okay that's just you know it's just like I said it's a general reading because the Empress is very strong okay and we know that you're looking to build something we see he has the raw the I'm talking about the Knight of Rod in his harm really wanting to work but here having this in the future just be prepared that there's some type of you know vision of yours that you might have to let go that you might have to leave behind in order to create whatever you're looking for in your life my Aries and let's see what we have in a position of the outcome this week I see the hangman the hangman it's interesting because it's yes it's another major con arts in the outcome position so it's for you you know here it shows that you may have to see you know things differently you may gonna you may have to look at things on a on a different um, how can I say on a different level yes because the hangman him being on you know suspended like this there may be something that is on hold maybe you have to put a few ideas on hold okay related to a few project you're taking a lot of things now there's a lot of movement in your second house having this in this position could let you know that you may have to review some of your idea you may have to wait because the hangman is, is him being suspended or you may have to take a different avenue in the direction that you want to so you may have to do things differently okay so maybe you have an idea a plan a strategy but spirit may be asking you you know during this month to re review and reanalyze what you have already um, taking charge what you have already um, you know works on you may have to go into a different direction because we know that the six of swords is also in their future position for you my Aries but I'm gonna leave this here let me know how this reading resonated with you leave me comments until next week send me lots of kisses I love you